Hey there, all you space cats. You're listening to the Black Hole Podcast. This is Season 6, Episode 7, and we're going to call this episode Dead Eddie vs. Corporate America. I've taken Bill Earl out of the title of this one uh, because I'm going to talk about some sensitive subjects in this podcast. Not that I don't in every podcast, just about... And I probably should have took Bill's name off in all the episodes he wasn't directly involved with after the first three. I did try to run some of the concepts by him and make sure he approved of them. But uh, we're just titling this Dead Eddie vs. Corporate America. And so uh, here we go. If you own corporate stock, if you own stock in a corporate stock market, you are a slaveholder. Now, I'm talking about slavery because I touched on it in the last episode about the Transparency and Importation Act and slave labor around the globe. So you can call your companies, call your CEOs, call your executives, ask them to be transparent about their wages. Because, uh, you know, it exists globally. We know that these corporations take advantage of uh, labor laws and wage uh, stability and things like that around the globe. But slavery is alive and well right here in the United States. And I've touched on this about how it's still legal if you're arrested, um, if you're convicted of a crime, slavery is technically still legal in this country. But I'm talking about everyday citizens as slaves, okay? So I'm going to, I'm just going to make a statement and follow it as far as I can go, right? Even the African slaves, even the African people that were rounded up and brutally rounded up and shipped to the United States, even those slaves received room and board, okay? They, they received shelter and food. Um, that was in the slave owner's best interest to feed and shelter those people. So, to put that in perspective, if you make $12 an hour and can barely afford a tenement apartment and have to eat hamburger helper three nights a week and the other four nights a week you eat powdered mac and cheese, you are a slave, okay? Uh, I would make the argument that anyone making... $20 $20 per hour or less in the United States is a slave. Now, there are slaves in the United States of every ethnicity. You know, why don't we call it that? Why don't we call it slavery? Well, they control the corporations that enslave us, control all the information. They have convinced us convinced that we have freedom. And uh, they are convincing us that we're not slaves every day. They, they employ the best psychologists and the best uh, marketing and advertising people to convince us that we are not enslaved and that we should continue to work for basically nothing. Another reason, and this goes way back, this goes back years, right, uh, I, I can't, I'm not a slave, right? I can buy, I can go into any bodega on any corner, any, any, uh, I can go into any CVS, Walgreens, I can go into any pharmacy or corner store and buy a candy bar, right? I have 50 cents, I have a dollar in my pocket. I'm not a slave. I can buy a candy bar anytime I want. Can of pop, no problem. I can buy a can of soda and, uh, this is freedom, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a slave, obviously, or I can save all year long, I can save up for the entire year to take my kids to an amusement park for one day, and that's fun, right, I went to an amusement park, this, this is freedom, this can't be slavery, that's impossible, so to, to kind of extrapolate on why we don't call it slavery, and you can call it modern-day slavery. I think it's just slavery. And 
And here's the thing. I studied film. I studied the media. Excuse me. And there have been TV programs. There have been movies about the brutality of slavery. Um, a lot of these were made by African-American artists. And I argue, and I, and I see their side, they want to show the brutality of slavery, but I argue that this actually might act to divide us in a lot of ways, right? Um, because we don't want to call, whatever ethnicity you are, we don't want to call ourselves modern-day slaves and discount what black Africans went through, right? We don't want to discount that because we've seen the recreations of it and what little we get in history books and uh, we don't want to discount that in any way so we're apprehensive to refer to it as slavery it divides every ethnicity because uh, you know we don't want to offend anybody um, but you know again I'm following this statement as far as I can let's let's just talk about punishment the, the most common form of punishment we associate with black African slavery in the United States is the whipping of another person, uh, the whipping of a slave with a, with a leather whip. Now, this form of corporal punishment was, was common at that time, not just on plantations and with slaves, but uh, you could find that in the Navy and, and sailing vessels uh, as a form of punishment. So, again, you're showing the brutality of what happened there. Uh, and I'm just trying to put it in context a little bit so that maybe we're not, we can unite and, and say we are slaves and we demand better wages. Um, now, I don't want to discount it to any degree people there's no doubt about it people were mutilated people were mutilated they weren't just whipped there were other forms of punishment so-called punishment or just torture in general but to set it on a just put it in context as far as the the act of whipping another human as a form of punishment that was found in other areas of that time period um so again this is looking to be a short segment i i i think it should be um you know j just to try to get this out here you know i'm just hoping to put this out in the open um in the hope that you know black americans don't get offended with other ethnicities because we need to unite we need to unite to end slavery in the United States and around the globe for good. We should never let the corporations manipulate our information to this degree again. Okay? So I'm putting this out there. Look, even African slaves received room and board. If you're struggling, right, to meet your basic needs, uh shelter, water, gas, electric, data, right? These are the needs that society says you have to have in order to properly function within it. Um, if you can't meet those needs and you're struggling, and, and that's without even, say you work a manual labor job and you want to relax your muscles a little bit at the end of the day with a, with a glass of wine, uh, that's not even accounting that in at that $20 an hour rate. So they, and again, our minimum wage here in the United States is $7.25. They're talking about raising it to 15 That's still slave wages, and it should be 20 or more. Now, you can look at the statistics of how much these CEOs make, and you can see the vast wealth they've acquired over the years, and, you know, I'm not saying let's tax the heck out of them and trust the government to get us that money, right? I'm saying call up 
your corporate CEO and make them be transparent about wages. I, like I said with the in, Transparency and Importation Act, let's create a platform, a portal, where we can show the cost of living and what a company pays its employees. Right? So, again, I, I'm not all about the government taxing the heck out of people. That's the, that's the simple solution, right? Let's use our heads and let's unite and let's let's try to change this this societal wrongdoing that's happening with people slaving away every day in the United States and all around the globe. So my recommendation to you the slaveholder out there is sell your stock. Invest in small businesses, small and regional businesses. You can do this through direct lending sites now. You can invest and get a decent return on your investment by investing in small businesses so that they can buy that new oven or that donut machine or whatever they need. Uh, get out of the slave trade or you know, at least leverage your stock and say, hey, until you're transparent about what you're paying people, I'm... I'm dumping my stock and I'm not going to reinvest. I'm going to go into something different. Something that's not involved in the enslavement of a fellow human being. That's what they're doing. That's what corporate America does. That's what corporations all around the world do. And uh, it doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. So, thanks for listening. Uh, join me next time, uh, and thanks for listening to this segment, Dead Eddie vs. Corporate America.